Hey guys, uh, this is CFA Chan coming to you live as soon as the starters came out for the EPL slate. Even though it's a two game slate, um, it, there's a good sizable uh, prize pool um, contest. Um, so I'm going to talk about briefly about, about my favorite plays <clears throat> and then the predictions, you know, uh, that I think will likely happen. So West Ham versus Burnley. Um, West Ham is a favorite at minus 137 at home against Burnley, a uh, away underdog at plus 375. I, I believe West Ham is fully going to win this. Um, it's going to be a um, pretty um, high scoring game, in my opinion, because I think the Newcastle game and the Leicester, Newcastle versus Leicester game is going to be a snooze fest because Leicester plays pretty good defense, even though Newcastle, uh, you know, um, likes to play in the open. I think this West Ham versus Burnley is going to be a good uh, game to target, in my opinion, especially because I think West Ham is going to dominate the possession. Um, and I know they've had some struggles up top with Antonio uh, struggling to score a little bit, but I really like the, the form that they were in in the Euro Europa League game um, where they beat uh, Lyon 3 nothing. Um, and then I like that uh, Burnley has been giving up uh, a lot of goals um, to the opponents. So I really do think West Ham uh, is projected to be the, the best um, or optimal uh, stack to target for EPL slate today. Um, so yeah, for example, I think it all starts with Jared Bowen. Um, Bowen takes a lot of their set pieces and he is a good play in the open play. He was in really good form earlier in the season, but not anymore, but still he's a really good play. Um, and then Cresswell, <coughs> excuse me. Cresswell takes some set pieces as well. So Bowen and Cresswell would be the most popular, but also, you know, deservingly, uh, you know, projected well pieces uh, for West Ham. I think the highest floor guys. And then for GPP, it really is up to these three guys right here. Vlasic, Lanzini, and Antonio. Antonio, like I said, has been struggling a bit. Um, and then Vlasic has been struggling a bit as well. Um, so like I'd say the Lanzini next, and then Antonio, and then Vlasic. Um, so I think really those are, that's the order of preference for me for GPP purposes. And then if the pricing fits between Rice and Suchek. Rice has been playing much better than Suchek lately. So I would definitely prefer Rice over Suchek. But they're both like central midfielders that may take a shot or two, um, but they are a solid player. They're solid players and they can definitely net one if they have a chance. And then on the Burnley side, I mean, it all starts with McNeil that he's starting back up again today. Um, he wasn't starting earlier in the games, uh, earlier in the, uh, the last couple of weeks, but he's back in the, he slotted back in the starting lineup. So it starts with him and then Cornette. So like these wingers right here are really, really the only ones that I am interested in. And I think for GPP purposes, if you think Burnley will win and score, obviously Weghorst, I prefer Weghorst over, over Rodriguez. The next game on the slate is Newcastle versus Leicester City. Um, both teams have been playing like shit. I mean, Newcastle has been playing okay, up and down, up and down. And I think they're now finally like out of the relegation zone for the, for the season, in my opinion. Um, I know Leicester has been so up and down, um, but I do think um, it's going to be a toss-up game. Newcastle is at home, so I do think, um, I think it's a Frazier. Yeah, Ryan Frazier is out today. So I do think that will slow down Newcastle a little bit. Um, it, you know, a lot of things had to go through Frazier the last couple months. <clears throat> so with that change, um, I have to prefer, let's see, I think a lot of the set pieces will be spread it out now with Shelby, maybe Almiron, and then Matt Target. So I think that's going to be an interesting one. There, um, so yeah, Matt Target, Shelby, and then Almiron, and then maybe Bruno Guimaraes. I mean, now that uh, Frazier is out, <coughs> really, I think the only two playmakers they have is ASM here on St. Maximin, and then Bruno Guimaraes. I mean, he's been playing really well um, ever since he got um, picked up by Newcastle. So really, Newcastle, I think the production will be spread it out. Um, and Chris Wood, it's either a goal or a bust. So I don't know if I'll, you know, uh, on him unless I'm like playing deep GPP. So I'll definitely target target <laughs> Shelby 
and ASM, and then Bruno Guimaraes, and then Almiron. In that preference, probably, because I think Cargate gets a lot of exposure on crosses. So I think he is the safest in terms of the floor. And then maybe between Shelby and Guimaraes, and then ASM, who hasn't been in good form, but still, like he's positioned on the formation that he can make some plays. And then Leicester City, if you think less, if you believe in Leicester City, yeah, I mean, they have a pretty good team, but James Madison is not starting today. <laughs> so I think, like I said, so the production will be spread it out. So that's why I was saying that I think West Ham's players still projected to be the best compared to these guys, even though Newcastle likes to play in the open play. Um, like even for Leicester City without James Madison, I think the production will shift toward Dewsbury Hall. And then Telemans, I think Telemans now would take penalty kicks probably, unless, uh, yeah, Vardy's not in, right? Yeah, so Daka. So I think, okay, in order of preference, I'm going to go Dewsbury Hall, Telemans. And then I think that's it for the highest floor guys. And then for GPP, really, I think it's going to go either Perez. I'm not interested in Lookman because he hasn't been playing well. So Perez, Daka, and then maybe one of the fullbacks, but their fullbacks haven't been going up and down a lot as they used to last year. So really, I think I'm going to target the top two guys here. So, but yeah, so like I said, um, <clears throat> TL, DW, too long, didn't watch, even though this video is not that long because it's only a two game slate. Um, but I'm only doing the video because uh, somebody asked me to, and there's a good sizable contest today. So, um, like I said, West Ham, I'd stack West Ham a lot <clears throat> with maybe either Newcastle or Leicester City, because I think that's more of a toss up. But I'm going to have to favor Newcastle now that James Madison is not playing for Leicester City. So, West Ham, I definitely mix up these four guys right here up top, or even, I mean, including uh, a plus Cresswell probably. And obviously the GPP, I mean, you can play Vlasic, Antonio, or Lanzini, but, you know, really amongst these three guys, I have to prefer Lanzini and then Antonio. So Vlasic has been struggling a lot. So he's been on the bench, you see. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, if you like the video, please hit the like video, uh, like button here and then subscribe button to, you know, watch our, uh, watch videos about other sports. Thanks. Have a good one. <clears throat>